my camera is lopsided. No, it's really lopsided. Is that better? Okay. Today we are here with another Empties Regrets and Reviews video for you. Now, I have 10 items that I cannot wait to put in the bin because I've been storing them forever. Okay, so we're gonna jump straight in. Maricela Water by Garnier. Now, I'm not going to try and get that to focus because it's a clear bottle and they never hardly ever focus. Love the goddamn stuff. Always buying it. Now, you'll notice in my past few empty to get some reviews, I don't have any wipes. <laughs> I have finally stopped buying them just to basically try different things. I want to get some more microfiber cloths um, and I want to start trying to be better with the environment. So, one of the ways of doing that was buying the water and because I don't have many of the cloths, using other things, but like cotton wool pads and maybe my night I don't know <laughs> right so I'm just trying to stop using so many wipes so absolutely love it would recommend it 100% and yes I would buy it again because you just walk past it in the shop and pick it up when it's on offer oh I missed the bin the next thing I have to talk about is this this came out of a birch box or a glossy box I can't quite remember this is the cosmic pink ruby glitter peel off mask made with ruby powder diamond powders yeah, I'd never quite believe that, but whatever. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This is how it came. Um, I absolutely loved it. So you basically wash and cleanse your face and you apply a thin layer. No, there was not enough in here to scrape it into two. Yes, I tried. So in the end, I had quite a thick layer on, but whatever. Uh, remove the max approximately 15 minutes or after it's gone completely dry and peel it off from the bottom of your face. Um... Oh, then rinse with warm water. Now, I don't know if you can see where this, like, there is all the glitter and stuff. This was pink. Like, I have tried pink masks before. It was pink, and it's a peel-off mask. And I've got to say, since the stupid person that brought out that black charcoal mask, you know the one where it rips everything out your face apart from the hairs you want it to rip out, it leaves them, and it doesn't actually rip out any blackheads, which I'm coming to find. Um, yeah. Everyone seems to want to do a mask like that now. So there was me thinking it was going to be a nice little peel off mask. No, 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 no. What happened to the day where you could actually peel off a mask? It didn't hurt your face. That killed. Like, it killed. It hurt my face so much. Yes, it pulled out quite a few blackheads. Did it pull out the hairs I wanted it to? No. No, it didn't. But it pulled out all my peach fuzz. Yay! That's not painful at all, let me tell you. Would I use it again? Yeah, of course I'd use it again if somebody else gave me one. Would I buy it? No. No, 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 no. I would not buy it. Not in the slightest. I wouldn't even think, no, just no. We're just going to shut right up. No, I would not buy it. But I'd use it again if someone bought it because it'd be rude not to. The next thing I have is this argan oil. This came from a birch. No, it came from a glossy box. This one came from a glossy box. It looks like this. Now, it is a repairing deep conditioner. It smells amazing. So you wash your hair, you lather it on, you leave it for, uh, I think the instructions have been ripped off, for about five, ten minutes probably. I had it on for the entire duration of my bath. I washed my hair straight away, put this stuff in, left it for about an hour whilst I watched some rubbish in the bath on my laptop, Netflix, you know, set it up, enjoy your night type thing. And then I washed my hair. Well, well, anybody that touched my hair for whatever reason, whether they were just trying to pull the clip out, pissing about, doing whatever, I've, I've moved my ear in it, it's now not right, was literally like, oh my God, your hair's so soft, no thread. I'm like, I know, I know, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, yes, I would buy it again. I believe they've started selling those in the supermarkets in like little packets. Yes, I'd buy it again. I wouldn't go out my way to buy it. I wouldn't purchase it off the internet unless... I had to spend like a couple of quid more to get free shipping because we all knew that. Um, but other than that, no, yes, love it. Absolutely love it. Would recommend 100%. Going back to Maricela Water, kinda. This is a eye makeup remover by Simple. It has multivitamins in it and it has no oil, no perfumes or colours or anything like that. This is what it looks like. It is a teeny tiny sample. Not a sample, but it's like a travel size. It's a 50ml travel size. I love the goddamn thing. Yes, I'd buy it again. Yes, because you need to walk to the supermarket to pick it up. 
Next thing I have is a Kath Kidston body scrub. This one was the Christmassy one. It looked like this. You can only get one use out of this because there is not enough in there to clean your body twice, let me tell you. Um, did not like the Christmas townhouse scent. I could not stand it, but I still use it anyway because that's the sort of person I am. Would I go out my way to purchase it? No. <laughs> no, I would not. It just... Hmm, yeah, okay. Back to cleansing. Okay, we have a cleanse of oil by MAC. Teeny tiny tester. Yes, it is. It's one of those that comes free when you buy so much stuff. Okay, I loved it. It was so nice. Um, yes, I would buy it um, if I have some spare money one month and I need to purchase something from MAC. I wouldn't just go out there my way to buy it. But if, like, for instance, my foundation ran out and I need to buy some more foundation and had the money I would buy that most definitely however unfortunately that is a not a back to mac product so that one has gone in the bin speaking of mac products from back to mac hey I need like I need to get that little ding I, I can't do it I'm not that good at editing but anyway this is my mac face and body foundation in the shade N2 now love the stuff I've been using this for oh god years absolute years oh there's stuff all over this bottle time we've still got time i love the stuff it just makes me so happy um yes i would repurchase it yes i'll repurchase it again and again and again do i buy any other foundations no not really um i have sensitive skin it's kind of the only one that don't set it off so this will not be going in the bin i'm saying that it's going in my back to back drawer which i will do another video on soon and we'll see what i get for free uh if you don't know you send six products back to mac and you get a free lipstick of your choice mm. perfume <laughs> okay this is the alien fusion um it came free with a glossy box you got this one and you also got the his version of it now i am one of those people that when i get samples of perfume i like to wear them for work now you're thinking why that's expensive stuff why you wore it on a night out and i'll tell you why so i got some expensive perfumes and i saved them for best because that's what we do we all do it and i've got some work perfumes i like to wear things for work to see what people say about me basically like and there is no better feeling than some random person and they're going you smell lovely didn't get it with that worked two days on the trot <laughs> nobody mentioned how nice i smell when i can wear a mac perfume uh, in the sh shade in the scent lady danger and everybody says how nice i smell in it so what i wear it again no the next thing i have is an australian sand and sky pink clay now this is amazing i've done a review on it i got two uses out of this so basically you put it on and you like exfoliate it into your skin and you scrub it around a bit and then you leave it to dry and then you basically wash it off but when i washed it off i did like tap it and i kept scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing and then I'd put my hands in the water and tap and i'd scrub and scrub and scrub until it's all gone yes i would purchase it if i didn't have enough face masks in that other room <laughs> let me tell you i would purchase it a million times over but unfortunately i have lots of face masks at the minute so but if somebody bought it me oh eyelash on the bed i love it i love individual like look just eyelashes can you see that throw it on the floor <laughs> i love them i really enjoyed that face mask and yes i would consider purchasing it if i wanted to treat myself and i didn't have any face masks hmm. The last thing on my list is a Clinique Chubby Stick Intense Moisture Colour Lip Balm. Now, these are not lip balms, they're more like lipstick. Um, this is number 20, Fullest Fuchsia. It was beautiful. It looked like this. The only thing I'm going to say... Let me just open it. Get the, that was the colour. Now, the only thing I'm going to say with these Chubby Sticks, I really, really like them however you only got the bit that stuck out the top they were a bit of a scam i think you got like five or was it six in a gift set all different colors so you basically could learn which one was your favorite color yes i found a nice one <laughs> but that was it that one the t it was like a little triangle on top it was like the top very top of a lipstick and that was all you got and i was a little bit disappointed with that because i think for the money that you spend on those products you should definitely get a, not a decent amount but a little bit more than that so i was a little bit disappointed with that however i did like the color i wouldn't push that particular color again 
you'll have to wait and see my next time to get some reviews which colour I would <laughs> but it might not be the next one it might be the like 20th one after because I've still got it <laughs> but yeah I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy this video don't forget to fizzle the one I can't talk at the end ah! don't forget to give me a big thumbs up click here to subscribe click over here to check out one of my latest videos and click down here to see a video that YouTube has selected for you I'd like to thank you so much for watching take care I'll see you in a few days with another video and bye bye